just out this morning at this pond. Um, we built this. I think it was. I think it finished it two years ago. Um, the water clarity's gone off a bit, so the UV bulbs need changed. Haven't been changed yet this year. Uh, absolutely beautiful pond. This. Uh, we did all the filtration, fiberglass, and and all the pipe work and stuff, and sort of advised the builders as to what way to put in the base and the walls and things like that, and the, the returns, etc. The customers finished off all the small bits at the end, all the stone face and the, the water blade and stuff, he put that in himself. Um, you can just hear the chagoy in the background there, <laughs> trying to suck a pellet out of the, the skimmer. But I'll just flip this round so you can see the pond a bit better. The customer that we built this for, all the fish that he has bought over in the last two years, all, were all bought very, very small fish, sort of 68 inches. That chagway must be about, probably close to 60 centimetres now. You can see the water clarity is not great at the minute, it's just, you can still see the fish at the bottom, but just that green tinge. We'll get the, <coughs> the UV change and expect that to be back to, to clear within sort of four or five days. Just stand back here and see the whole pond in. Really nice big window on this. But the growth rates that he's got on these fish are excellent for all the fish that he's bought were sort of anywhere between four and five inches up to maybe eight or nine inches at the most. In the two years the biggest fish is probably 65, 70 centimetres. There's a water blade on there. I'll just go around and show the filtration system now on this. One hungry chagoy. Yes, we'll say the pond's about 5,000 gallons. Um, has a Nexus. 320 plus coming straight from the bottom drain. Um, uh, as a Evolution Aqua Very pump and up through uh, Evo 110 watt UV. There's no cover over the top of this pond, so it does seem to get full sunlight for the food there, the south facing garden. That's the, the water blade there. Maybe switch that on just let you see that in a minute. And we have the, the custom block skimmer. That's a few of the pellets have made it their way in there. The chagoy trying to grab them. And did that through the very pump. And then it's the skimmers running off a. Uh, 24 inch K plus speed filter. Um, system C is working really, really well. I haven't actually been down here since the pond was built. It's always a good sign. You don't have to keep coming back to things. The customers are very, very happy with the, the pond, especially the growth rate in these fish. He does have a heater on this. I'll just show you it around the back. The heat makes all the difference for the growth rates. I think, yeah, he's got the Thermatec, I think it was uh, the Thermatec 12 kilowatt on this. Not too sure what temperature he has it set up this time of the year. I don't think it's that high. Yeah, it's only set for 15 degrees. At the end of this month, he'd probably put that up to about 20, 21 and give them a few months at the, the higher temperatures. This is uh, Ginrena Chiba, a bit hard to see, see with the clarity there at the minute with the green water. 
We actually gave him that fish had a bit of a funny top lip. We weren't too sure how well it was going to do, so we just gave him that for free. And um, that's absolutely grown into a monster now. It's over 60 centimetres. Just switch this water blade on to let you see running from the front. Yeah. Move this over the way. There's a manifold here for there's two underwater returns and then you have the, the flexi pipe running up to the, the water blade. You can alternate the flow through these as different times of the year if he wants it all underwater or through the, the blade at the top. Like, might have to adjust the flow on the pump. Oh, it's not too bad. Just a nice amount of water. Obviously, blades can be badly affected by the wind, which is quite bad today. Change these UV bulbs. Yes, yeah, so we're just back down at Ray's house here. I thought I'd drop in. I was just passing. Um, have a look at this the pond. We changed the UVs. It was a couple of months ago we'd done the UVs on it, but haven't had a chance to get down here since. I just thought I'd drop in and see if it's, it's improved any. Um, and it has improved, but as Ray says, he's literally just cleaned the algae and stuff off the windows. and. Um, so there's a bit of debris in the water, but still looks well. The fish have done really well this summer. All the stuff that he's bought off is that he's bought generally at sort of smaller sizes, all tosai. Um, and they've all grown really, really well. I'll just flick this round. I have no polarizing lens on the camera, so you can't really see, but I'd say most of those fish must be sort of 50 up to probably 70 cm, maybe bigger. They've all gone in sort of anywhere between 10 and 20 centimetres at the start. Over the last couple of years they've done really well. Let's go back here, you can see the pond itself. Really, really nice pond. This, um, and it's definitely the growth rates he's getting on this. Uh, the pond is fantastic. For the size they're going in at, like by the, by the end of the first year, there's so he's only the pond's only been in a couple of years, and those fish are already up to sort of 60, 70 centimeters. Some of them. All right, thanks for watching.